Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. I hope you're doing well today. And thank you as always for clicking on this pick a card reading. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at your feelings versus your person's feelings. So all you need to do to find out is choose one of the three images on your screen. Feel free to pause the video here if you need some time. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. Okay, so let's get into your reading now. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Hi, group one. So let's take a look at your feelings versus your person's feelings. Now I'm going to begin with your feelings because this will also help to identify that this is definitely the right pile because hopefully you'll have more of an idea as to what your feelings are. And then we'll look at your person's, okay? So group number one, what are your feelings for your person currently? What are your feelings for your person currently? Okay, so we have offerings. So you may have actually offered your person something. Maybe you sent them a message. Maybe you gave them a gift. You may have just given them a compliment or this could have even been eye contact or a smile, something where you felt like you offered or extended something to them. Now it could be the other way around. It could be something that they've given to you and you've been wondering whether to accept it or not. But for the majority of you, I'm sensing it's something you feel like you gave to them of yours, of yourself even, or of your time. Um, we've got white buffalo. Okay, I'm definitely picking up a lot of coldness here. So yeah, you may be feeling iced out, like you offered, extended yourself, extended a hand, and it may have been rejected or pushed away. Okay, I definitely get this, yeah, feeling left out in the cold energy is coming through here. And then storyteller. So you may be feeling like your person is a storyteller. Maybe you don't believe everything that they've told you. Okay, or maybe you think that they're very charming, very charismatic. Okay, and you're just wondering whether they've pulled the wool over your eyes. Okay, maybe they are a great storyteller. They may be very, you know, a talented communicator or some people just have that way about them that they can communicate stories. They can, you know, storytell in a very poetic, a very artistic way, in a, an engaging way. So I feel like there's something about them that you definitely feel drawn to because also it's like with this warmth I'm seeing, it's like the fire and then the cold here. It's like you're craving to be close to the fire. You're craving to be close to that excitement, to that passion that this person made you feel. But you feel like it's in some way in the distance. Again, and maybe you're wondering whether it was even real. Okay, so we've got exchanging gifts, which is funny. That jumped out and obviously we've had that offerings come through. Sorry, I've got more cards flying all over the place. We haven't got shuffled that deck yet. So let's just pop them back a sec. I will be pulling those shortly. Um, right, where was where was I? Yeah, so offerings and exchanging gifts. So, yeah, you, again, you may be feeling. I don't know if you if they've given you a gift of some kind, you may be looking at it a lot or holding it or reminiscing as to the time when they gave you something or when they. It may not even be a specific gift, but it may be something that they helped you with. It feels like something practical here. Now, it could also be your birthday coming up and this could be something you're also thinking about. You know, are they going to do something for my birthday? Are they going to give me a gift? Are they going to reach out? Or if it's their birthday coming up, you may be wondering, should I reach out to them? Should I get them a gift? Is it too early? Are we on the right path? Okay, so we've got flexible. How are you feeling about them, group one? How are you feeling about them? And then to the sea. So you definitely have some emotion for this person I sense, group one, okay? I feel like at the moment though, you're feeling like you need to go with the flow, okay? You don't feel like you can really do that much right now, especially if you were the one to be left out in the cold or if they've ghosted or gone silent, okay? You may be waiting for a message. I definitely sense this waiting energy. So yes, you may be waiting for yeah, them to send you a message, them to extend some warmth again to you maybe even you are in communication but they've just gone a lot colder than they used to be so i do feel in this that you're i'd say it's quite easy flowing energy even though you may be feeling a little bit badly you may be still hurt over this situation but i feel like you're quite easy going right now and i feel like you're quite open to how things could move forward so whether that means you're going to be together i feel like you're in this mentality of 
if it's meant to be, it will be, okay? If we're meant to come together, we will come together. But if not, then it won't. You know, I will go away, I'll lick my wounds, I'll get over it, I'll move on. Okay, so it feels like you're in quite a a light energy now. When I do feel you you have been in a much and heavy energy. Oh my god, I can't say it. A much heavier energy previously. Okay. I don't even feel like it was that long ago. Maybe been a few days ago, maybe one day ago, a couple of weeks. Something where it was like it was quite painful, this situation. But it does feel like you've taken yourself out of this mentally and emotionally. You've definitely done a lot of healing through this, I feel. Um, let's see, how are you feeling about them? How are you feeling about your person? And then we'll get into their feelings. Unappreciated. I feel like you didn't care. So yeah, you are feeling like they don't appreciate you. They don't appreciate your gifts. They don't appre yeah, appreciate the literal gifts or the figurative gifts, the gifts of you, group one. You feel like they, yeah, they weren't showing you that care. They weren't showing you that love. And I feel like you had a very pure love for this person. It feels quite innocent. Like even though you enjoyed the exciting side of them, you enjoyed to feel appreciated. Because I do feel you did feel appreciated by them in the beginning or at one point, but just at this moment you feel like they're so so much at a distance and I feel like you're wondering if they really cared, when, then why are they leaving me or why have they left me out in the cold? It just doesn't make sense. And then we've got detachment. I had to let go so I could clear my mind. Again, which does correlate with what's come through here with all that flexibility, okay? Because yeah, it makes sense that you are in a place of more detachment. Okay, you have made that conscious decision to walk away from this. Now, of course, you're here watching this reading, so you still have a level of curiosity, which is fine, okay? And you may still be curious, and there's nothing wrong with being curious, especially when there was no real closure to the ending or to the situation, if you feel like it's stuck in limbo. That is one of the hardest situations to get over because it's much easier to get over something or someone when you know that the why it's come to an end or why things are quiet but without that knowledge it can cause a level of obsession and so that may have even happened for you and where you've had to pull yourself out of that group one okay so i do feel you've managed to do that though as a whole i do feel like you're pretty detached but yes there are going to be moments where you do dive back into this now let's just see what we've had we've had three come out here okay so yeah, maybe at times where you do feel you get sucked back in and then you revert back to detachment again. Um, so we've got regret. I wish this never happened. So yeah, there may be a side of yourself that does regret even meeting this person or maybe there's certain things you wish that you didn't say or you wished you had acted differently. So this could be a little bit of self-blame that sometimes arises for you through this. Which again is natural because again, when there is distance, when there's space or silence or confusion, you naturally are going to be more introspective and wondering, is it something I did? But I feel like you're also strong enough and secure enough in yourself to know that this is their problem. This is their issue, why they choose, chose to walk away or distance. We've got time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. And then third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. So yeah, you may be suspecting or maybe you know that there's another person involved here. You may know that there's a third party interference. It doesn't have to be a person or a love relationship. You know, it could be a friend, it could be someone's work or family responsibilities. Okay, but something it's like came between you. So you're either feeling it came between you on your side or your person's side. It may even be both. You may both feel that same way that so many external factors got in the way. And yeah, you may be feeling like now it's kind of too late. It's like they, they're taking too long, taking too long to come back, taking too long to apologize, taking too long to make, really make it up to you. As you may also be thinking that they're afraid because it's been so long and maybe it just comes across as rude and they feel like they don't know how to come back in. I've heard somebody say this to me before um, and they actually said something, what did they say? That like if I've left somebody on red for too long, I sometimes w won't bother to reach back out even later on because I feel ashamed that, I've, that I didn't message them in like a, I don't know, polite time frame, whatever. So it is a thing, okay? So I do feel, yeah, that might be what you are also thinking here. So I think now would be a good time to move into your person's feelings, group one. So let's take a look. 
what are your person's current feelings for you now so hopefully that all did make sense for you if it did please comment below comment a purple emoji if you like now let's take a look how is your person feeling about you right now group one how is your person feeling about you grandmother earth how is your person feeling about you? Spirit Keeper of the East. Oh, it's weird. I just got this blinding headache come through as soon as I just pulled these cards out. Okay. Oh, offerings again. Interesting. Oh, so there it is. We've got offerings. So your person is thinking about the fact that there has been an offer on the table. So again, if this was you that offered something to them, they are thinking about that offer. But I do feel that they're very much up in their head. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of air energy coming through here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now, for some of you, they may have an interfering mother or a grandmother or another female figure. It could even be like the parent of their child if they've got a child that they share custody over or something. Again, that's going to be obviously for those of you that know that they've got a child with someone or if they've still got a hold on them in some way. So it could be. And they could also be seeing you as a mother, somebody that's very nurturing. Like you're definitely coming across in this pink energy. Like they, they're feeling this pink energy from you, which is also heart chakra. So I do feel like you, you do help to activate their heart. And I do feel like they think about you though, even though they may have gone cold, they definitely think about you group. Um, I nearly called you group two, group one, okay? So let's get some more information about what they really feel for you. What do they really feel for you? Okay, so we've got no place like home. What do they feel for you? Treasure Islands. Wow, I mean, your person, whew, they definitely have strong feelings for you between worlds. I mean, it's strange, hence why they may have gone cold, but I feel like they see you as a gift. Okay, they really do. They feel like you are a gift to be cherished in some way. And there's a sense of them feeling something familiar about you as well. Like maybe you felt that about them too. Like when you first met, it just, everything just slotted into place and you felt immediately comfortable with each other. And they definitely did feel that as well. And they do still feel that, okay? They feel more comfort with you than they do with other people. It's, it's strange because it does feel like this may have been a new connection. For some of you, maybe it is an ex, somebody you actually are familiar with or somebody you knew at school or something. But for a lot of you, I'm getting that this is a fairly new connection, but it still feels like there's some kind of pull, something that feels familiar. Like, you know, when you see somebody in public and you're like, I feel like I know them. I can't place where exactly, but something I recognize. And I feel like that's how they feel about you. They feel like they recognize you. They recognize qualities within you that are very similar to them. So there's a bit of a mirroring energy coming through here. I do also feel like they've been thinking about different things here, different scenarios where they want to spend some time at home with you. If they've been to your home or if you've been to their home before, I feel like they're reminiscing on those times. If you haven't visited each other's homes, I feel like that's something that they are thinking. Maybe that's something you offered. Hey, do you want to come and visit me at my home or pick me up or I can come to yours? Okay, that could have been something that came through there. Now, the number nine, I would say, is really standing out to me. So this could be a very important date. Could be the date one of you was born on could be the date that you met on or something significant happened, okay? But here as well, I get them picturing holidays with you. So I don't know if this is something you discussed with them previously, but I just, or maybe they see that you like holidays or you like to go somewhere tropical and they're thinking about that, okay? This de person is definitely a dreamer. <laughs> they spend a lot of time up in their head. They're not so grounded, certainly not at this time. They seem to be living in a bit of a fantasy. But now we do have this between worlds. So I do feel that they have some sort of a decision here. They feel like they need to make. They are feeling quite indecisive. Now, this could be between two people, okay? For some of you, it's third party energy and you'll know that it's third party energy or hopefully you'll know. 
but this may be as well that they see a different life with you. I get the sense that they feel like you can bring them out of the darkness, like you take them to this happy place. So it's again, it's like they fantasize about you as a way of escaping. This is escapism tendencies your person has, okay? They may have a lot of Pisces in their chart also in strong planet planet inner planet placements like their moon their sun or their rising but yeah it's like they definitely feel like you can help to brighten their mood but they also do feel stuck they feel drawn back to the darkness but then it's like you are the light so it's like the angel and the devil on their shoulder and it's like you're the angel pulling them towards the light but the devil keeps bringing them back so again this could be another person not calling them a devil but it may be that they are more toxic in nature but again, if it's not a person, this is their own toxic thoughts, their own toxic patterns and behaviors that keep them sometimes stuck between the light and the dark. But this person is closer to reaching the light. Even in all of these cards, actually, there's like light trying to come through. It's not like blazing sun. It's not up in the top of the sky. It's just either rising or setting. So it's like your person is close. They're close to being able to predominantly be in the light. Okay, but they're not quite ready yet. It's like, this is them dipping their toe into the water and then pulling it back. Okay, I feel like they're definitely a bit gun shy. Okay, your person's most recent feelings for you. Mend, I want to fix our connection. So that's very, very clear, isn't it, group one? They don't want things to continue the way they are they do want to mend the connection they do want to fix things here they know that they've screwed up or they know that things are broken right now damage we are both hurting from this so yeah they do feel like they're hurt from this but also that you may be hurt from this so i do feel your person has a level of awareness here self-awareness where they can actually look and see you know what this is what i did and i know that this has caused my group one pain so they are acknowledging this and it takes a lot to have that level of self-reflection and I do feel your person has grown and they do have a lot of depth, okay? But they, it's like, you're, again, you're both mirroring each other, you're both feeling the pain, although I would say your person seems to be feeling a bit more, a bit more pain because, again, I, I feel like you did feel a lot of this pain but you have processed it, you have healed now. Again, it's not to say that you have healed completely but i'd say that you are more detached because you spent time healing rather than just escaping like we have here escape i left when things got too hard responsibilities i have to take care of my financial and emotional needs so that's pretty clear isn't it group one in that respect this is maybe why they ran away okay this is their escapism they may have avoidant tendencies definitely have avoidant tendencies in many different ways they run away from conflicts they run away from issues and whether that's literally running away whether it's figuratively and icing you out but also going up into their fantasy world that is also their way of escaping okay they do struggle with any kind of conflict any kind of relationship issues, deep conversations that need to be had. And again, it's not because they're not a deep person or a deep thinker, but it's something that does make them feel very uncomfortable. And yeah, they may not have been shown healthy emotional expression or affection when they were growing up, or they maybe they've been out of re love relationships for a long time and they're just not sure how to show it, okay? Or they're too afraid to get hurt again if they were hurt very badly before. Now, for some of you, they've already got a child, okay? They may, for some of you, already have another family, okay? Which, again, you'll know about in a third-party situation. So this could also be a strong reason as to why they are backed off or why they are quite quiet at different times, okay? But, you know, they may be split from the partner, okay? And they share, like I said, share custody of the child. But this doesn't have to be their child. It could be other children within their family. It could also be work. As I said, it's other financial responsibilities emotional needs that they need to take care of so yeah they do know that they also have a level of healing they need to do here but they definitely want to fix things with you though they don't want to leave things as they are they know that they have a pattern of just running away oh my god habits i don't know if i will ever change so being very very real and upfront isn't it um, for you group one okay because this is where they are okay this is why they're so indecisive this is why they can't come through with 
consistency right now because they are afraid that they won't be able to change because they want to be able to change. I do feel your person wants to change these habits that they've created and these never ending patterns. Okay. They do want that, but they don't know if they can really trust themselves. They don't know if they are truly capable to change in the way that they need and the way ultimately that you need. So again, this person is being pretty uh, raw, pretty real with themselves right now. Okay. Even though they have these times of fantasy and escaping, when they come to reality, it's like they come crashing down. And it's like, I get the sense they don't want to hurt you anymore. They don't want to hurt you any further. And so this person will only come in when they have really decided they've got enough strength and willpower to change these avoidant habits and tendencies or these you know, deceptive tendencies that they uh, continue with, okay? They know that they've got to do things in a healthier way. They just are not totally sure whether they can really truly trust themselves at this time to make the changes that they know they need to, okay? In order to keep you, in order to have longevity, but at the same time, they're torn because they want this. They want to fix your connection. So maybe a little bit confusing. I appreciate group one, but this is what I see. Unfortunately, relationships are not always linear, are they? You know, you can have your up days, your down days. One day you can want them, the next day you don't. One day you want to fix things, the next day you're afraid. So it does feel like your person is flip-flopping a lot in that sense, okay? So if you watch this reading again in a few days, you may be drawn to a different pile. You may see different energies from them. But anyway, this is what I see at this moment for your feelings versus their feelings, group one. If this resonates, please do comment below. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group two. So let's take a look at your person's feelings versus yours. So I'm going to begin with your feelings because that will also help you to corroborate whether this is the correct pile for you because hopefully you'll know more clearly how you feel, okay? So how are you feeling about your person, group two? How are you currently feeling about your person? Spirit Keeper of the West. Okay, so I do feel like you are feeling quite emotional about this person. Medicine bag and answering the call. So yeah, you may actually want to be speaking to this person. Maybe you tried to call them. Maybe they've tried to call you. Maybe you just want to hear their voice, but specifically it's a call coming through. So yeah, it's like either a call that was missed or maybe you're reminiscing, thinking about the last time you spoke. But then there's something about healing here. Maybe the last conversation you had related to something medical or something health related. Okay, could be something that came through there. But yeah, there's something about needing healing. And then I'm seeing tears flowing with this waterfall here. So again, yeah, a lot of emotion. You may have been crying a lot about this person either very recently or maybe you did previously. I don't know. It just feels like there's something about not being over them, but I also get the sense you're trying to bottle it up. So you may actually be keeping a lot of this to yourself. You may not be sharing what you really feel with other people. So you may be keeping this relationship or your feelings for this person very private, not just to them, I sense, but maybe towards other people. Like for some of you, if this is an ongoing on and off situation, you may just be trying to preserve being criticized in some way by family or friends so you may just be deciding i'm going to keep this to myself so i don't have them criticizing what i'm doing okay but for others of you it may just be you want to keep things private until you are sure about this person until you're sure something is really materializing okay so we've got breathe so you may also be feeling like you need a breather from this person. Maybe you need a break or maybe you are actively meditating. Some of you may even be manifesting. Maybe you're trying to manifest a phone call or a text from this person. But yeah, I do feel like you are trying to find your sense of peace and calm in this situation through these feelings. Yes, because even regeneration is death card energy, energy of Scorpio. So it may be that things did come to an end and maybe quite an abrupt or sudden end or an intense end in some way. It does feel like it's a very physical connection that you share, whether you've actually been physically connected and intimate or whether this has been online, but you've talked about that. Okay, it does feel like you are like two magnets being drawn together. And then we've got community. 
And the number eight, okay, eight is standing out, maybe a significant number, a date someone's born on, date you met. Hmm. And we've got 46 and 29 as well. It could be people, some, what, yours or their ages, perhaps. Anyway. Hmm. Someone could have a child here as well, or a pet. Some cute pets coming through here. Birds, somebody could be very into birds, you or your person. I feel like this is you wanting to nurture this. Like you want this to grow. You feel like the growth is halted in some way though, okay? And this may be what you're doing is like trying to manifest it to start growing again. Or again, maybe you're just taking a break because it got too much. Maybe it got too intense or too obsessive in some way. And so it feels like there is a need to regroup, to reset the situation. So yeah, again, there could have been a sudden ending. You may have cut ties with them very suddenly or could be the other way around, of course. But let's just see what else is coming through here. How are you currently feeling about your person? And then we'll look at their feelings. How are you feeling? Indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. So yeah, you may be feeling yourself very indecisive about whether what you really want when it comes to this connection anymore. But it could also be that they are indecisive, okay? And you're feeling, you know, you're feeling hurt because this person couldn't decide whether they really want you or whether they're willing to do what it takes to be with you. So you're definitely, I feel like it's a little bit of both. Certainly I do feel on your end, you are struggling to truly make a decision what to do. And this might be again why you are taking some time out, where you were trying to just have a bit of a breather to detach a little bit so you can really figure it out. I mean confusion i feel unclear about where we stand so yeah this might be as well what you are desiring is closure closure because i feel like yeah this is you no longer wanting to be in limbo you don't want to be strung along you don't want to be left in a sense of misunderstanding here you would rather them be upfront blunt even if it stings in the moment you would rather that than to be left yeah, to be left in limbo, left feeling confused and unclear about where you stand. So yeah, I definitely feel like there's been a lot of mis miscommunication, mixed messages, a lot of withholding of the truth here. Okay. Responsibilities. I have to take care of my finances and my emotional needs. I feel like this is you. I mean, I know I'm looking at your feelings, but in the sense of I feel like this is you that's got a lot on your plate at the moment. I mean, it could be your person does as well, but I really get the sense here that, I mean, you may have a child that's come through a couple of times, or you may have, like I said, other things that you need to do, like you may have your own business or something. You've got something else where you've got a lot of other people relying upon you. You've got a lot of uh, other things. And I feel like this may be why as well you wanted to, to detach, because you may have felt like this situation was draining you and you weren't focusing on your responsibilities the way that you would have if it wasn't for them soul tie i always feel connected to you so this could be a long distance see we've got this very long road here looks like a motorway so yeah you could actually live like a very far away where you have to go on the motorway the freeway to actually go and see this person maybe you already have done this and if you have, maybe you're thinking about the last time you visited each other, or maybe you went on a road trip together, or it's something that you talked about before. But at the same time, it's like you do feel this soul tied to this person. As much as you may want to detach and let go, you do feel like there's something that pulls you. Like I was saying earlier about the magnets, something that pulls you towards them. As much as you may feel it's wrong or that it's unhealthy or that it's not fulfilling your needs it's like you just can't help how you feel and then destiny i'm struggling to find the right path so yeah i mean that does make a lot of sense because we do have a lot of struggle here and again i feel like this is why you you are coming to a place of calm a place of meditation and if you haven't been doing this i definitely would recommend this with this with everything that's come through this will be where you find your peace where you find your clarity and understanding 
And I just feel like, yeah, you are wondering, what do I do? Do I try to reach out to them for closure or to have another conversation? Do I keep holding on to this? Do I let go? I've actually got a reading, um, a few videos down that's, should I fight for this or should I let go? So you may want to watch that if that's something that you are wondering whether you should, you know, if you're looking for advice, but obviously I'm not giving advice today on this. I'm just looking at how you feel versus how they feel. But yeah, I just feel like you are ready to cut ties or to move forwards one way or the other. I feel like you just don't want to remain how you are at this very moment. Okay, group one. So I hope that that part resonates. And I'm going to look now at your person's current feelings for you versus yours. Okay. So if this has been resonating, please do comment below, yellow emoji of any of your choice. Liking the video as well shows your energetic support. So I do really appreciate it and thank you in advance for doing so. Okay, so let's take a look. So you, some of you might wanna wait to see what comes out about their feelings. So let's see. Um, how is your person currently feeling about you, group two? How is your person currently feeling about you? Okay, so we have, is that, didn't that just come out? I'm sure it did. Oh, I don't know, maybe it didn't, may have been the last reading, I don't know. <laughs> Let me just see. No, I don't think it did actually. No, it was Spirit Keeper of the West that came out, didn't it? Okay, Storyteller. How is your person currently feeling about you? Answering the call. Interesting that the call card has come out both times here so yeah I feel like you either have spoken on the phone before or they are thinking maybe you're both telepathically communicating that you want to speak on the phone to each other and if you try to call them they are thinking about the fact you tried to call them and whether they should call you back or if they called you and you didn't answer they're wondering whether they should try again okay we've got clean it up come to the edge how is your person currently feeling about you exchanging gifts? Okay, I would say your person is much less emotional about the situation than you are at this time, group two, which I appreciate may be a little bit disheartening to hear, but you guys know I'm always gonna be upfront with what I see. And it doesn't mean that they're not ever emotional, that they won't be, but these are their recent feelings, okay? so. At the moment, yeah, they, they're they definitely very passionate about you. They, they are attracted to you still, if that's something you're wondering. They've got a very physical attraction and they do have a mental attraction. They think about you a lot, okay? You do weigh on their mind a lot and I feel like they may even watch you. They may watch your social media. Even if you're not on each other's social media, they may be kind of stalking your account, watching your followers, watching to see if you change your profile picture or something. This person is very visual, very, very visual. And if they've got pictures or videos of you, they're watching them, okay? Or they're looking at them. They're reminiscing a lot. This person goes back to the past a lot. They live in the past a lot. I just got, hmm. I'm just getting the sense with the storyteller here that they feel like the story isn't over between the two of you. They do feel like something does need to be fixed, okay? With clean it up. So. You can't clean something up if you haven't made a mess to clean up in the first place. So yeah, I do feel like they are feeling like there is a mess. Something's happened in your relationship. It's almost like I just heard like you dropped a bomb and then ran away. And then they're left to clean something up. It's interesting. So yeah, you may have told them, maybe, maybe you told them a story. For some of you, they may think that you've told them a lie. Okay, I'm not saying that that's true. But for some of you, yeah, they may think that you've, you've told them some sort of story, some sort of lie. Or like I said, you dropped some sort of important information and then ran away. But then it's like you're looking back and hoping that they would chase you in a way. But then it's like this person went in the other direction. And it's like they're, they're very much focused on their routine, their physical health. They may go to the gym a lot. Okay, they may be focused on cleaning their house working it's it's very virgo energy being of service being of help but i just feel like they're looking in the other direction right now you're looking back towards them but you are also moving away from them so it's kind of similar in the sense you both still think about each other but neither of you are really willing to do anything but again both of you do want to actually have a phone conversation i feel 
Now with exchanging gifts, it could be somebody's birthday coming up, could be yours or could be theirs. So it could also be they're thinking about buying you something or whether you're going to buy them something or it may even be like if you have something of theirs and they're wondering if they're going to give it back or maybe that would be a good excuse to get things moving again between the two of you. But yeah, I would definitely say your person is more in their physical rather than their emotional right now. Even though I know this is a, their feelings reading. We'll just see in these final message cards whether anything more will come through uh, on an emotional level. So how is your person currently feeling about you, group two? Okay, so we have hope. I haven't given up hope on us yet. So yeah, that's not surprising to me because I don't feel like your person's given up. I just feel like they feel like things are on pause at the moment. They feel like things are on a break, okay? They don't feel like it's over. So even if it appears to be over right now, they do feel like there's a chance for you to come back to each other again. For some of you, I do feel like they're considering marriage. Okay, I'm really drawn in by the rings here. It looks like engagement rings. So they may even be thinking about this being a potential future. Understanding, I see your side of the story. You've got story twice now. So yeah, maybe they didn't understand something you said to them previously, but now they do understand. Now they get where you were coming from. Now they understand maybe your motives or it may have even just been something anecdotal that you didn't really, maybe you don't even remember, but it's something that they've been thinking about over and over. But now they seem to have more clarity as time has progressed. Okay, so they're having more understanding as a whole about how you felt on your side. So your person does have the ability to empathize, which is, of course, a very good thing. They do have an ability to look at things in a very balanced way. So they're certainly not blaming you or victimizing themselves. Not at this time anyway. Secrets. Oh, I haven't told you everything. So yeah, they may feel, yeah, that they've been keeping secrets from you. But again, they may think, think that you've been keeping secrets from them. Something secret, secret, can't say something very secretive about the connection that's something that they are thinking but it may also be about you two meeting up in secrets that may also be what they want to do um we've got chaser i don't want to chase anymore okay and that one's pretty clear and then we've got time i'm afraid it's too late to take action so yeah, if they left you out in the cold, they may feel like it's been too long for them to reach back out to you now, that it may come across as more rude, okay? Or they feel embarrassed or ashamed that they, they've they taken so long. So, yeah, and they may feel that they've chased you, okay? They feel like they've done enough and they don't want to chase anymore. Or they feel like they chased people in the past and it never worked for them. So they feel like it's not going to work again. So... Yeah, they're not in a chasing energy. And I know for some of you, you're probably rolling your eyes and going, ugh, they never chase. They didn't even attempt to chase. But this is from their perspective, okay? So in their mind, they feel like they did chase, that they did do, maybe not enough, but they do feel like they chased. And they're in this energy of, they don't wanna chase anymore at the moment, okay? But like I said, they do have hope. They do have hope for a reconcile. They haven't given up yet. They do have a lot more understanding. They do want to talk to you, but you may have to be the one to reach out to this person. Certainly at this very moment, it doesn't feel like they're willing to play ball, okay? So it's just something to think about there. If you're, it depends what you really desire, okay? Whether it, if your end goal is truly just to talk to them and have closure, then it may be best to reach out to them. But if you want to see and test this person to see whether they are willing to fight for you, then hold back. Give this person space. They may decide to change their mind later on because this is just how they feel now. This could very well change in the next few days, in the next couple of weeks. So, of course, ball is in your court there, group two. Please do feel free to comment below if this did resonate. I would love to hear your thoughts and share your feedback. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group three. So let's take a look at your person's feelings versus your feelings. Okay, so we're gonna start with your feelings because this will just help you to know that this is definitely your pile. And then we will, of course, look at your person's feelings. 
So how are you currently feeling about your person, group three? How are you currently feeling about your person? Okay, so we've got prayer feather. So you may actually be praying for this person, whether it's praying for them to reach out to you or praying for their well-being in some way. Ooh, spirit of fire. Okay, so there's also a lot of lust in this connection, definitely. Wow, and then flowing river. Even all of these warm colors, these pinks and oranges, reds, yellows. Wow. Yeah, definitely a lot of fire in this connection. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, either you or your person or both. But yeah, it's definitely an electric connection. Very much so. I do feel like you're thinking about your person quite physically. You may be daydreaming about them, maybe daydreaming about being intimate with them in some way. Again, I feel like there is something about praying though. Like you are, like I said, praying for their for their well-being or you are praying to be together with them in some way um, there's also a lot of emotion i'm seeing especially with the flowing river okay so there could also be water predominantly in either or both of your charts pisces cancer scorpio i feel like you are wanting to kind of go with the flow with them at this time though because it does feel like things may have got very hot and heavy or very intense quite quickly. And I feel like you're now wondering how are things gonna flow now? Maybe you've gotten intimate with this person or again, like I said, maybe things heated up very quickly and you're wondering whether it's something truly sustainable. Um, I just had a card jump out onto the floor. What's this one on the floor? To be fair, okay. So yeah, maybe this is also what you're thinking in terms of being fair, like you feel like it's the fair and right thing to do to pray for this person. Maybe you pray or you share your gratitude with the universe on a daily basis or with God or something. So this may be that you've added your person into it as you feel like that's a fair thing to do. Okay, but this could also be that you are wanting a relationship because this, this is Libra energy here. So yeah, you could be feeling like, yeah, you, you can see a relationship with them you could see something forming some of you may even feel like this is somebody you could marry some that you could somebody that you could spend a lot of time with maybe somebody here that you could build a home with this could be somebody that you know in your hometown that may have been where you met okay but again it may be that you want to set up roots with this person you want to set up a home with them Okay, you could also maybe want to spend quality time with them, whether it's at your home or their home. It's definitely soft cancer energy. There's a nurturing here. So I feel like there's something here about you wanting to not necessarily help them, but like you just want to make them feel good. Like you want to do things that make them feel good. You want to do things that make them feel more at ease, make them feel more peaceful. So whatever the issues they're going through, it's like you want to nurture them. And then we've got here and now, which I think is really beautiful actually for you group three, because it does show a level of detachment and a level of, yeah, being focused on the present moment, okay? Not overly focusing on the past, but also not obsessing or, yeah, overly fantasizing about the future. I do feel like you're quite grounded, you're quite secure. And again, you just wanna see where things go in quite a healthy way. Again, you're not getting too ahead of yourself. Maybe you have to talk yourself into that, okay? If you're used to, again, everything being so quick, so fiery straight away, it's like you're just being like, okay, group three, just pace yourself, pace yourself. Don't get too caught up in the lust, in the romance of everything. Just, yeah, stay grounded. So you may be having to tell yourself to do this, but regardless, it's still a very positive energy. We've got mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. So yeah, you may feel like you've made some form of mistake with this person, but this could also be you wanting to right your wrongs from previous relationships. Maybe there are things that you've said or done that you regret and that you would rather not repeat in this connection. So maybe you came on too strong previously, or maybe you overshared certain things and you felt like that didn't go down well in some way. So then in this connection, you don't wanna do those things that could potentially damage it. But this may also be you are thinking about the mistakes they've made. Certainly don't wanna put the blame on you, but obviously mistakes has come up in your feelings. Um, we've got broken. I feel shattered about this situation. 
So yeah, this may also be with this home energy that you've isolated yourself a little bit since you've been intense with them, since you had this explosive encounter and now it's like you feel tired, you feel quite drained from everything. Like it has taken a toll on you. And again, this may be why you've come to a place of detachment where you are in the state of flowing and saying, you know what, if we're meant to be, we will just flow together and it will work. If we are not meant to be, it's for my divine protection. So again, I do feel you've come to a very healthy place of understanding group three when it comes to this connection. So we've got mend, I want to fix our connection. So yeah, you're definitely not done with this person, even though you may feel very shattered, even though you may be questioning the longevity of the connection, you still want to see if you can give it a try. You would like to see if there's a potential for you to make things work again. Soul contract, the lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So I feel like you are already able to see in ways in which you have grown, ways in which you have evolved from previous relationships and through this relationship you may have learned a lot more about yourself about what you need about what you desire or about what you have to give in the connection as well okay but also how you really feel and maybe this is also about your reactions to this person is something you've learned about yourself okay and maybe you've changed certain aspects about the way you react irreplaceable the way you love can never be matched so yeah it, it is very intense group one it is very i mean this one just flew out i wasn't going to pull any more but it flew out so damage we are both hurting from this so yeah i do feel like you feel you're both hurting you're both in pain over the the breakup over the situation or over the situation not moving forwards in some way okay but yeah you do feel like there's either no one else out there or that it would be very hard for somebody else to come in and match the energy that your person gave you. And not just the energy they gave you, but the mutual chemistry that you both feel for each other. Because it's not something that comes along every day. You could go on 20 dates, but you may only feel that chemistry or that spark with like one in every 20. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less, but it's something I feel like you both identify within each other because chemistry is mutual. It's not unreciprocated. So I do feel, I mean, I'm going to look at your person's feelings now, so we will see, but I am getting that sense that your person feels a very similar way, certainly in terms of the chemistry within your connection. Okay. But Again, you may be in a bit of a lack mentality sometimes, group two, and thinking that, yeah, no one else is going to be able to replace them. And maybe that is true, but it's not to say that somebody else won't be able to come in and give you the same level of chemistry, the same level of excitement, but also to bring you stability as well. Okay, consistency and loyalty. So, oh, knocking my water. Let's, so let's take a look now. Let's get into their feelings for you. But if this has resonated with you so far, please comment a red emoji or anything else that you feel free you'd like to share. Or liking the video also shows that your energetic support for my channel and my videos. So I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so your person's current feelings for you, group three. Tribal spirit dancer. That is the first time that one's come out today. It's giving me sacral chakra energy, which sacral chakra definitely connects to that intimacy part, okay? Circle of life, ancestors, okay. Hmm, interesting. We've got a lot of birds here. So a lot of air energy. I do feel they're thinking about you. Hmm. So this person could be quite creative. They're definitely a very passionate person. They may enjoy dancing. They could even be a professional dancer or they could be as good as a professional dancer. Uh, yeah, I feel like they may even be quite talented in the bedroom. I'm not, I've never said that before in a reading, but it's just something that came through to me. But I feel like they just have a, an intuitive and empathic way of just knowing what you need or want, okay, in that respect. Um, but yeah, there is something that's quite primal, very fiery about this person. So again, a lot of fire coming through on their side too. Okay, I feel like they are 
less strategic. They're somebody that's very impulsive. They live in the moment. They're very spontaneous. And I do also feel like they are seeing that the circle of life is a circle of life and that this cycle of your relationship may have come to some form of close. Now, I'm not sure with the Ancestors card what that's meaning here, but it may be something connected to their own family, their parents or their elders in some way. They may feel like it's going against the grain in some form being connected to you, okay? Or maybe it's following in their footsteps. I don't know. It's a strange one. Round and round. Interesting. We've got a circle of life and round and round. So, yeah, they do feel like something here has gone round in circles. I don't feel like they're happy about it. I do feel like they could be a bit stressed, even though I feel like they are a very much a go with the flow type of person. And again, very spontaneous. I feel like it is driving them a little bit nuts, okay? Because they don't feel like anything is set in stone. Things are definitely a bit all over the place. Oh, we've got two here. So we've got a change in the wind and truth be told, both very airy cards again as well. I feel like your person wants to reach out to you because I'm seeing this open window is like this window of opportunity. This is like a message I feel like is coming in. So yeah, I feel like your person wants to message you, wants to call you. They want to be more open and honest in some way because they do feel like they had to hold back. Maybe they were afraid of what certain people would say or whether they would approve of the connection or approve of their personal choices okay a change in the wind i mean yeah i feel like if they did walk away from you group three i feel like they are starting to change their mind now and they're kind of wishing that they didn't or they wish that they'd given you another chance or that there was some form of explanation because maybe they just walked away giving you nothing and they realize that they do need to give you something. Otherwise, things are just going to repeat, going round in circles. You're not actually going to get anywhere. Because it almost feels even like these circles are just leading to nowhere. There's no real path. There's no end point here. So I feel like this actually stresses your person out a little bit. Even though usually they're good with not knowing the outcome of things. They're good with just living you know, by the seat of their pants every day. They just do whatever they feel drawn to do. They live in that very, like I said, spontaneous way. But with you, they just, I don't know, something about not understanding you, something about not understanding the connection is driving them a bit crazy. Okay, and they just want a straight line. They want things to be easier in some way between the two of you. And I'm sure you probably feel the same way. But let's see. Your person's most recent feelings for you chaser i don't want to chase anymore so yeah and even though it says i don't want to chase anymore i feel like they don't want to but i feel like they will i sense that they do have a bit of a stubborn streak okay and they can be very prideful they may have strong leo in their chart somewhere or taurus energy i'm getting even aquarius actually i just got two but yeah i feel like they yeah, their pride will stop them doing a lot of things. But reflection, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. But yeah, I feel like they actually needed some space here. They needed some time to reflect, to understand what happened within your connection, to understand you a little bit more, to understand themselves a little bit more here. Okay, so I do feel that they now want to express themselves more openly with you after they've taken this time mistakes i wish i could right my wrongs so there it is interesting didn't that come through in yours as well i'm pretty sure it did so again you may be both feeling the same way so i can just hear my i think that's an alarm of mine going off I'm going to leave it for a minute. Sounds weird. It's not like a usual alarm tone i have. Anyway, that's weird as well that that alarm is going off now during this reading so yeah again it's like maybe alarm bells were ringing for them or maybe this is them like wanting to reach out this is like a message tone or something <coughs> but yes yeah, excuse me so you both may be feeling like you've made mistakes that you both want to rectify them they do want to right their wrongs disagreements i wish you understood how i feel so yeah they do feel as well that they, they are understanding more about where you are and why you may have reacted the way that you did, but they also do feel like you haven't seen 
their side of things. They feel like you don't quite understand their own point of view, which of course may be their fault if they've been very withdrawn or held back in some way. So, you know, they may only have themselves to blame for this, but they do wish that you did understand them a little bit more. And then ego, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So yeah, what was I saying here? Their ego, their pride is a big source of discomfort here, okay? And a big reason why there was issues in your connection, okay? Because they didn't wanna chase you. They didn't feel like they should or that they should have to. So they pulled away, okay? They let their pride get in the way. Okay, or again, even when it comes to admitting their mistakes, apologizing, being more upfront with you, that either fragile ego could, couldn't let them do it, okay? But I feel like they have come to this realization. They realize that it's an ego issue. They realize that it's something that they need to actively work on because being away from you has allowed them to gain clarity. They do want to be able to right their wrongs here. And I do feel this person is going to reach out. I do feel that they are going to start chasing again, but it's like they've got to work through this ego issue first. Once they break that down, that's when I feel like they're going to come in. Now, I didn't do this for the other piles because, well, I didn't feel it I don't know, I didn't feel I needed to, I guess, but I'm just gonna get some astro dice as a time frame for when they're gonna reach out, okay? So we have number 11 and we have Pluto. So Scorpio energy could be the 11th of November for some of you, the date that they reach out. Could be 11 days from now, could be 11 weeks. Scorpio energy is water, deep, deep flowing water. So hmm, could be, could be during a Scorpio moon, I just heard as well. Scorpio moon, November the 11th, 11 days, like I said, 11 hours. Could even be like 11 a.m. or p.m. that you hear from them. But 11 is definitely standing out here as to when. And I feel like they will have actually gone through a big transformation when they reach out to you. Like the person that they were before is gonna be very different to the person they show you this time around. So I also feel like that's what they've been waiting for, to do some kind of resurrection of the connection they felt like they needed to overhaul themselves they needed to break down this ego or they need to break down this ego before they can actually swallow their pride and come towards you group three so here it is i really do hope it resonates with you please do comment below if it does i would love to know what you think and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me the link to my website is below i do hope you have a lovely rest of your day bye for now